not a hill. Thank you. And it's a house. I have, as some of you have seen, he and I have a little bulldog. He's now 18 months old. His name's Little Mac. He weighs 52 pounds. He's not a puppy anymore. But I've had a bulldog since I was a puppy. And, I, and we will keep on having them because they're. People look at them and they think they're ferocious, but actually they, they're strong as the bulls that they used to tussle with many, many years ago. They will not quit, they will not back down, but they got a, a heart as big as South Carolina. They nothing but, as my mama used to say, a, a furry ball of love. And so that's why we, we have those bulldogs. And it's always a thrill for me to, to come to this campus. And I remember that visit to uh, President Clark and. Uh, and I will be back many, many more times. I'm looking forward to football game. I'll be very brief, y'all. I thank y'all for doing what you're doing. We're in a tight spot, and uh, we, we got to get out of it. And I'm anticipating a meeting this week with the president and Senator Graham. Uh, it's uh, temporarily scheduled. I hope we'll be able to keep it. But the purpose of that will be to convince him and explain to him the facts of our case. When you have good facts for your case and you can present them to someone to make a decision, usually things come out the right way. I've made presentations to him as well as the administration uh, on other facts involving things and some of them have gone our way and, and some of them haven't. But the facts of the case on nuclear power its future and the facts of the case on why the Mox facility should be continued at the Savannah River site, I believe, are overpowering. I've learned a lot about it by listening to people like you who've written and understand it. And I know that there's, for example, there's no other way to reduce the nuclear, the uh, Wilkins grade plutonium to where it cannot be reversed and used again, which would be consistent with the, the treaty. Uh, is to put it through the MOX process. The dilute and dispose will not work. Also, I know that the dilute and dispose method uh, is not one that is going, that will receive, I don't believe it will receive clearance uh, in New Mexico. The two U.S. senators opposed to it. The, the next governor is going to be in, uh, opposed to it, I believe. The current governor is in favor of doing that. But I don't think the political will will be that uh, in New Mexico for that or any place else. I mean, Bob, the governor, has just come out with a lawsuit. He's, uh, he, he's, he's fighting it as well. So the, our opportunity, our responsibility, and the, the, the chance to get this done is, as we know, the Department of Energy has already said no. But I think the Department of Energy has made their decision based on bad facts. And I hope to have the opportunity Thursday uh, if we can get it done then, if not some other time, to present those facts, because I, th I think that we'd be making a, a big mistake to reverse the process that stood all the clearances and, and is ready to go. So uh, that's what we would be doing. But for those those students here, I want to encourage, just like Rick Lee and, and President Clark did, this is a, this is a great area to, to be in. It's an area that is important, not only in the United States, but in the world nuclear power and everything that goes along with it is, is clean. It doesn't blow away in hurricanes or storms or tornadoes like telephone poles or solar panels do. Uh, it, 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 as I say, it's clean. Once you get to plant built, it's very inexpensive. And it's, it's reliable and we need it and all that goes along with it. it. It's not time to turn our backs on nuclear power or all things nuclear. The rest of the world is charging towards it as fast as it can maintain our national security and our strength. I think it's important that that be one of our sources of power in this country. So I want to thank all of you. I'm here to listen to you. I've learned more from listening to Rick Lee talk and explain to me than uh, I ever thought I would. But it's very, very fortunate because this is a very important issue and we need people who understand it. And as he said, we need young people coming along who want to get into this area because it's going to be with us. We, we need good minds and energy, and that's what you're producing here in South Carolina State. So I thank you very much. I'm here to listen, and uh, I'm always available, uh, not only on this issue, but uh, others as well. We look forward to ideas, insights from people around the country, around the state, and 
of this, this group would be delighted to hear from people in this room on things that they think are important and uh, things that we can do. So thank you.